going back a few years, it was a dis discovery of the sponge reefs themselves. And I think at that point we realized we had something that was really unique that had never been, never been seen before. Glaciers were treated about 10,000 years ago. And these sponges, I think, went back 9,000 years. And this was based on doing a radiocarbon dating of a shell at the base of the mound. You know, this is something that's been developing over 10,000 years. And then finding the fishermen, where the nets can destroy it in a minute. Kind of knocks your socks off, if you're a scientist especially. A lot, a lot of us got involved in the issue of habitat destruction, reef destruction, up in Hecate Strait. But one of the problems with Hecate Strait is it's so remote that, as you say, most people don't, don't necessarily care that much about these things unless they can see them and feel that they're part of them. Still, there were sponges which were growing on top of sponges. That's how these mounds build up, because these sponges have a hard skeleton, it's fused glass. And so if a sponge dies, unlike most sponges which kind of fall apart, it still maintains its skeleton. And juvenile sponges will settle on that skeleton, and then they in turn will grow up and then they die, and more settle on top of that, on up to the top. So it's not pure like that, but it's also what happens is the sponges act as kind of a baffle to the currents, we think. And so it tends to cause a settling out of silt. So mud builds up at the same time as the sponges, so it's not, it's not like a, um, a tower which can fall over because it's supported by all this mud. But the other problem that arose at that time was that fisheries initially, it was kind of an honor system that the fishers don't if this is a closed area, please don't trawl here. All it took was one rogue guy to trawl an area and it was toast. So mm -hmm. everybody else could be good guys, playing playing by the rules, and the rule breaker would bring home the bacon and also take care of the sponges. <laughs>